When solving equations with fractions there are several ways to go about it but we'll stick with our process of using common denominators. So on the left hand side we can look at it and say that there's a common denominator of 20, in other words numbers that 4 and 5 both go into. And we'll change those fractions accordingly so everything in the first fraction gets multiplied by 5 in the top line because it's multiplied by 5 in the denominator and the second fraction everything gets multiplied by 4 because the denominator has been multiplied by 4. You'll notice that the right hand side negative 6 and in fact any whole number is written as a fraction with the denominator as 1 so we're going to use that to have a common denominator throughout the whole equation. So we'll change the right hand side accordingly so its denominator matches the left hand side that means that everything in the right hand side must be multiplied by 20 and we end up getting negative 120 over 20. Now to solve the problem what we need to do is expand the brackets so the left hand side becomes 15 minus 10k when we multiply 3 by 5 and the second fraction becomes 16k minus 8 when we multiply 3 by 4. Now that the common denominator is apparent throughout so everything's over 20 we can now put the numerators equal to each other. Notice how the second numerator on the left hand side becomes 16k plus 8 because we're subtracting the whole fraction so in effect it's taking away 16k and taking away negative 8. When we simplify all of that we get 23 minus 26k is equal to negative 120. Now we're not going to go through and solve that equation because that's similar to ones that have been done before but if you do solve that you'd take the 23 across to the right hand side and divide both sides by negative 26 to get k by itself and your solution is k equals 5.5.